Hi everyone, uh, we are going to see together a connection between Laravel and LDAP. I've chosen to do this tutorial um, in English because I didn't find any on YouTube. So I wanted to make my contribution for a wider community. Okay, uh, okay the, thing, the first thing we need to have is obviously a project. I freshly installed this project, okay? The, thing, the second thing we need to have is this beautiful package, which work perfectly, okay? And of course, an LDAP server. This is like a free online LDAP server. And finally, we will need this wonderful example project from our friend, Andreas Gimza, okay? All right, let's start. Uh, this is my database, okay? All right, I will show you what I've done. Okay, I will close this and then, okay. I've run my, I migrate my database, okay, here. And then I've, okay. I follow studiously like a schoolboy this documentation. I've done this, all right? And then here, successfully generated okay and then i've published my configuration here this line okay like this and then um okay we will talk about this and this later okay i will uh, firstly i wanted to show you that this project is working perfectly okay okay i will do this to start all right that one works okay i'm going to register like a new user okay okay email and the name is made dot fm and here da, da, da. and like this okay wonderful nicely okay what we need to change we will need to change this okay uh, in this project they use like active directory it's not the same thing like here okay this is why our friend use those information instead of this so we will need to paste it here like this okay and we will make like a comparison between both okay okay this is our server our friend uses this credential here with that one and this port in here and then he uses this part of a uh, line okay like this and username and password he, he he don't need to do this because he's uh, he's already connected with with this server online server okay okay wonderful uh what we we need to do next okay we will carry on on this we need to create our model but I don't think we're going to use it, okay? Anyway, we will create. Okay, LDAP model already exists. Okay, no problem. I, I, I've uh, already created, so no problem. Okay, we don't need to use this for the moment. We are going to go directly to authentication, okay? Authentication, okay. So, we will have to test our connection if it is successfully connected okay nice successful yes thank you my friend then we have to go to this file okay in here up oh we have to add those line in here 
and we will disable that one because we don't need it for, for for now okay because we are going to be connected with the active directory well it's not the active directory uh, it's the open one okay we will see later and then we have to change this this part here we have users we have to change it to ldap okay like this nice and then we carry on we are going to pass this in login controller okay no problem app http login controller we are going to pass it here but we need to make like a small changes why because here he request he, uh, his credentials i mean and that record use email to uh, to uh, for authentication okay but uh, in this uh, LDAP server we use username so what we need to do is to go and check our project here login we said login okay login controller okay our friend change email to this to username because actually in this uh, LDAP server they use username and not email okay we have to change this nice and then we will carry on okay so we've done it so what we need to do next to change uh, stuff like name in app and we don't need that we i need to see the name the whole name okay nice uh, secondly we have to create like two column guide and domain okay in our user table okay so uh, that's what we're gonna do okay uh okay we're gonna we go in to create them all right we have to do this okay and we should go check if it is published okay all right we will go to migration Oop. database migration and we find them here okay all right we should run of course php artisan migrate okay this step okay nice okay wonderful we will check our columns we will find them here that ones okay nice uh, and then we should configure this step also in auth so we already done this and we should add those lines so i will took all this tuck, tuck. That one for this, that one for this, that one for that. Okay. I will need to copy this and paste it in here. Okay, save. And we will paste it in here. Okay. Like this. Or actually, like this. Nice. All right, okay. And then we should put this class in our model like this in our model. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Open LDAP. Look, we are using open LDAP. So here we should use this class, okay? We should write open LDAP, this is important, okay? Here. Should post it here. We are not using Active Directory actually. Okay, next step. We already done that one. We choose LDAP, uses to LDAP. All right, good. And then we should put those lines in our user model, okay? So this line, 
goes in user model like this okay use of course mm -hmm. and this one we should put it here okay uh, app users nice that one those like that's what i've done and then we should copy and paste this line here like that and use notifiable uh, notifiable notifiable this line we paste it in here okay nice good okay those we don't need this for a moment and then setting up login controller that's what we have done and then normally everything is okay just except something else okay we now we are going to test it and see what's going on okay okay nice um uh in we have like plenty users we should taste that one like for example tesla okay this is like users and uh, all users have the password password okay we go in we are going to check this if it's work i'm going to log out and then log in with tesla okay okay password password okay login okay ah yes because um in our model we are uh, we are using uh, email and not username so we have to change it to change it in our blade okay here migration database uh, resource views auth login uh, login yes we have to change email mail not one email username to username okay username okay nice refresh that one and do it again tesla and password nothing happened because we need to put something else okay we are going to need our friend here what he's done he add this line request into uh, into login controller okay we are we should go to login controller add this request and then we should use that one also i mean those two things uh, there is no uh, there is no existence in this uh, package okay but we should put them here okay so next we should uh username password already here okay save that one save that one too okay and then we will try test the password wow mashallah nice very nice look guys okay we'll uh, try another one in here for example uh, newton okay we will use newton here newton and password okay nice okay uh, we will check also our database what's happening in here you will find that those lines the two line tesla and newton are here okay so everything is okay now thank you for watching last thing guys stay safe and please spread culture prevention thank you very much guys